Yo guys, I just got a package from Lazada. It is the i70C Cooler Master CPU Cooler. Let's check it out. So, this is the packaging. I got it for 37 on Lazada. So, thank you Lazada for giving us these good deals. This is awesome. As you can see the packaging. Um, yeah, 69 ringgit LGA 115X. So any kind of number will do. So the measurements is 120 times 120 and 60 millimeter in depth. So it's a score 120 by 120 in depth, 60 millimeter. And yeah, 40,000 hours, 28. DBE 4 pin connector 2.4 watts for consumption. So the numbering is that way. Alright, enough of this. It's a simple um, fan and let's open this. So firstly opening the box you got a mounting of 3M. This one you'll be mounting at the back of your motherboard. This is actually I don't know if you can tell this is aluminium or plastic. This is metal, yeah, aluminium. So you can see the cooler, man. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. This is quite like a this shape. This is very cheap kind of plastic. Or the specs, thirty-seven ringgit. But the clips on the both sides, and you have your thermal paste on already. And yeah, it's been really good. So the RGB lighting will be. I don't know. I can't tell. Anyways, let's fix this bad boy. Firstly, you gotta clean your thermal paste with isopropyl 90%. I got this as 70% for injection. So you can use this, but it's a bit slower. You have to clean up the thermal paste. So, and then after you have to use. Uh, so, in this case, that this thing have to be uh, installed first at the back, then you can mount it this way. Let's go to the back of the case. So at the back of the case, you just have to follow the pattern this way and you're good to go. Yeah, it fits in exactly at the four corners of the case. So this is like a temporary sticker. Of course, you're gonna screw in with the fan. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put that in. Alright, make sure the nearest fan is over there, so I'm going to put it right here. Take out this one. So the thermal paste is, is good. So in this case, I'll be using a cheap Daiso screwdriver. For easy access, I remove my graphics card in order for to see the placement of the screws, so it's easier to do. So this thing, you just have to just screw in, push it in, and then just keep on screwing it in. So I'm doing this side first, like an X, then the other one, this one. Make sure all screws are basically in. If you can't see what you're doing, you can always push this out. So you can have an excess of hand here in this case so you can see the screw after doing so um, make sure it's snugged in it's pretty snug and always double check your backside so I'm turning this I'm scared of falling okay I think that's the maximum I'm gonna show you guys so I think this is considered um, installed. I don't even know why I can go all the way down. I keep on pressing the screw. Oh my god, see? I can't even push it in. I think it's stuck that way. But it's really secure. 
Okay guys, I think this is really secure and strong. So I'm gonna plug it in right over here. Damn, it's too long. Oh my god. I don't think I like this white stuff. Yeah, cleaner. Damn, this thing is disturbing. You can see that? Because the Cooler Master logo is this side, so it's this way. So if I were to move it around, it won't be that much good. So I'm going to put back my graphics card. Okay. It's secure. I'm going to show you guys the clearance for the RAM. The RAM is not disturbed or anything. It's pretty much just like that. It's like almost touching it. Yeah, you can see that. It almost touching it. Yeah, almost, man. See that that gap? Whoa, bro. <laughs> so I have to move this in order for me to move this right. I have to remove the fan, which is a bit of a hassle. Seriously. Yeah. Anyways, let's boot it up. Pretty noisy. Wow, it's dope. I got a red fan up front. RAM is RGB. It you no, know, it's red color LED. Fan is good. It's really noisy. Anyways, I'm gonna stand it up. <laughs> All right, guys. That is pretty dope. It's like an arc reactor, man. Super awesome. No, it's not noisy. That is so beautiful. The LED is really small for this one, so it doesn't look that nice. Like the stock uh, RGB on the casing scout 2 Cooler Master is really bright, as you can see. But this one is super bright, guys. This one I like. So the RGB is from the both sides, so I think it's really pretty strong. <laughs> Check that out. Whoa! So just put the back cover, so it looks really nice, super nice, man. I can see through the damn heatsink, man. It's pretty dope. I thought that blue and red doesn't look nice, but it does somewhat looks like an arc reactor thing because every part of this place is like hell because of the dragon and such it's really hot but this one the center the cpu is cold because this is running ice cold and the rest is like lava so yeah it's pretty good looks good man Woo! 37 ringgit super purchase anyways gonna check out the um the temperature Oh, so the temperature is below 50 celsius but before this it was 55 48 but just now now it's uh, 36 34 35 32 so which is really cool man it's pretty cool um, for the cpu if not the uh, celsius is around 45 to 48 uh, i'm not gonna do a stress test whether it does it go up to 100 celsius or not so let's do a Cinebench. Running the Cinebench test, going for the temperature test as well. And I'm gonna check out the CPU. Gonna be pretty heavy, guys. So it goes up to 50 Celsius. Um, 53. Last time we used Cinebench up to 100 Celsius, I'm gonna see the CPU whether it goes up to 100. So at this point, um, it's going to raise up to 54 Celsius. Huh. Not bad. Seriously. It's almost finished. Still at 50 plus Celsius, which is really good. Hopefully it's below 6 cel 60 Celsius, guys. Come on. Below 60. Below 60. Come on. 
will still be the 60. Pretty good. Uh, gonna reach 50, gonna reach 60. No, still below 60. Come on. Oh, it's finished. The maximum is 59, guys. That's pretty awesome. Now it's going down back to 43 to 30 plus Celsius, 38. Come on, 38. How fast? Yeah, it's going down. It's going down. Now it's cooling. Yep. All the cores are still at 40. Yeah. Anyways, um, the temperature score is below 60 Celsius, going down back to 37, 38. So you, as you can see, it goes down to 34 as well. So pretty much this thing is a good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoy this um, review and also testing for the i70C Cooler Master and also the installation. Uh, please support the channel by subscribing and leaving a like. Bye guys.